Hi all, my name is Aileen and I am coming to you as a person going through their health journey as well as um, wanting to be along with your journey as you gain more information, more insight into what we can do as a whole, whole body person in a holistic manner that does not involve drugs, um, extreme exercise, extreme dieting. Um, I am about to start in November, November 1st, um, a four week, what they call an elimination diet. This is the more economical version of going to an allergy doctor. What you would do is you're going to eliminate seven of the most common allergens, which are corn, soy, wheat, dairy, nuts, um, fish and eggs. And what you would do, eliminate those for four weeks. You can go longer, but I'm only doing four weeks. And for those four weeks, I know what's left after that, but this gives you an opportunity to be creative, to actually know what is going in your body because you control everything. You control what meals you eat. You control what ingredients you use as long as they don't involve those seven allergens. When the four weeks is up, you start reintroducing each of those little by little. You can do a few days to a whole week. After you reintroduce that one allergen, because you're going to do it one by one, once you reintroduce that allergen, you're going to make note, feel how your body feels. Notice any changes. Do you, you know, unfortunately get the gut punch that a lot of people who have a dairy allergy have? Are you going to unfortunately break out in hives, reintroducing some of these? The body is telling you that after all the conditioning we've done over the years, it wants X or Y. This is the holistic part. This is the way that we actually tune into our body, what it likes, what it dislikes. So after each allergen that you reintroduce, weigh yourself, you know, have your food, notice any physical changes at first or like automatic reactions. Then next morning, weigh yourself. Did it cause you to gain, you know, a couple of ounces or a couple of pounds and we're staying away from the junk food. If you already know what your allergic reactions are, just cut that off the list and go with the other ones. Um, once you're done, I'll say for me, I'll do four weeks of the elimination, four weeks reintroduction. So after those two months, once those eight weeks are up, I will know what my body likes. I will know what my body dislikes. I will know that from this point forward, I need to have meals that include or eliminate. So I'm about to go shopping. I've written out a list of the meats, the vegetables. Um, I'm going to look for gluten-free options, but a asterisk or fine print there all gluten-free just as all dairy-free are not the same they will include nuts they will include corn they will include soy so we have to read the labels and i know a lot of people don't like that part of the diet um you're going to look at the labels make sure that it does not include any of any of those seven allergens dairy-free same thing it can be almond milk based, soy, um, nuts, you know, well, excuse me, almonds are nuts, but look, if you like sour cream, if you like, um, yogurt, those are the ones that are going to be a little bit harder to replace because of the addition of soy or, uh, almond milk. 
I believe you can do oatmeal milk. Um, oatmeal is a gluten-free item. I've never had oatmeal milk or oat milk. Um, and so, like I said, I'm coming along this journey along with you. So when the eight weeks is, are done, um, I will have a better understanding. Hopefully you will have a better understanding of what your body requires, what it needs. Yes, I, I won't call it a cheat day, but when you're reintroducing, yes, you can have a few sweets if you want to use that as your um, reintroduction, like ice cream, to reintroduce dairy. Don't go overboard because we also want to pay attention to how our body reacts, how our mood reacts. Do you feel sluggish? Do you feel bloated? Do you feel um, out of sorts? So you want to document it. You want to document that down and make sure that you have a better understanding of what you need. Well, not what you want, what you need because that is part of this journey. We want to be healthier. We want to extend our lives. We want to have more energy. So if you feel sluggish, cut it out. So let's go on a shopping trip and I will show you what I'm looking for when I buy stuff. I will show you the labels. I will show you the alternatives. If you, you know, find one that, you know, doesn't quite check all the boxes. There are alternatives out there. So let's go on the shopping trip. All right, we are back. I am in my local Hy-Vee um, because I know they have a gluten-free aisle. And this is, let me uh, back up a little bit. They have the gluten flour, they have gluten-free flour. Um, all the different things that if you were vegan or anything, um, they have the brewer's yeast, nutritional yeast. Um, because this is their quote unquote specialty aisle, um, it is kind of pricey. This is what I was talking about as far as non-dairy milk. Um, if you notice, it's all almond milk, soy milk, um, macadamia milk, soap. This is the kind of stuff that you have to watch out for when doing your non-dairy. The rice milk, the dream, I have had that before and it's actually very good. It's just not um, all purpose. So if you want to bake, cook, it's kind of on the thin side. It is great for cereal. It's great for drinking straight. Um, if you come over here, you'll see a bunch of nut stuff. <laughs> Almond butter, uh, peanut butter, peanut powder. I like, um, I have, I've tried out a couple of things before uh, committing to this elimination diet and the sunflower butter actually tastes like peanut butter. So if you're looking for an equal substitution for peanut butter, sunflower butter is the way to go. Yes, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but if you look at the labels, all it has is sunflower seeds, sugar, and salt. Um, 200 calories per serving. Definitely want to watch the sodium count. 99 milligrams is really good. Um, so I am getting some of that. Um, you can get the all natural, which doesn't have as much um, processing, I guess you want to call it. But let's see. Nope, there is no difference. It's just a little bit on the looser side, but it's natural crunch. So there are some sunflower seeds in there. You've got creamy crunchy basically chocolate let's see if anything changes so for the Nutella lovers the sodium actually goes down um, so it's got sunflower seed sugar un unsweetened chocolate cocoa powder salt vanilla flavor not bad so for you Nutella lovers you can use that okay so this is why I really came to Hy-Vee the ripple it is pea based or pea protein based i'm getting the original um it doesn't have any of the extra like corn starch or corn syrup excuse me 
so um but even though there's like many 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 to choose from i wanted to give this a try i had it once before but um like you've got oatmeal milk here excuse me I keep calling it oatmeal milk it's oat milk i've never really had it um once you start in introducing more uh like nut based things you can try almond um looks like chobani has a whole bunch of oat milk um but definitely keep your options open um of course you're gonna have to look for your gluten-free pizzas um i found oh let me go down the the gluten-free aisle and here you have all of the gluten-free options oh excuse me uh, I have had the cauliflower. It's cauliflower um, base crust and it does not have any of the extra soy, corn, or anything. So, um, like I said, I'm at my local Hy-Vee. The prices are a little bit higher, but whatever your local store is, give it a check and look for um, what you like, what uh, fits your um, budget as well. So, read labels read um or you know make sure you have a grocery list with you with the allergens that you want to eliminate and go for it and um let's meet up again in about uh another week Hi everyone, uh, my name's Aileen. Um, if you have started this journey with me, then you know that on November 1st, um, I started an elimination diet. This is our, my three week check-in. Um, I have just gotten done with a Thanksgiving day workout and um, yeah, got my butt kicked in this step class. Um, just to give you an update, um, I want to say for week one of my elimination diet, just stopping eating the uh, processed foods, I dropped four pounds. Second week, I incorporated exercise and um, not strenuous, more of uh, walking more, jumped on a treadmill. Uh, the nice days I walked outside, um, that also helped to... Um, keep the weight off. So combination of eating healthier, no more processed foods. Um, I had to get a little creative since um, part of the uh, elimination diet is eliminating fish. So that limited me, but I got creative with the protein. I started putting more vegetables. I started drinking smoothies, which incorporated my fruit intake. Um, well, it counted as my fruit intake and, um, I am feeling a lot better, uh, because today is Thanksgiving and happy Thanksgiving to those that celebrate it. Um, today is Thanksgiving. And so because I know it's hard to find gluten-free, uh, like stuffing or things like that without eggs in it, I did reincorporate eggs yesterday. Um, so I still have a week to go with everything else, but yesterday I did incorporate eggs and the way I did it was I did a hard boiled egg. So I could definitely know how my body reacts to exactly that one item. Um, and it wasn't a good reaction. I felt bloated. I felt kind of weighed down a little bit. And so I was wondering, okay, maybe it's because it's a hard boiled egg, but I'm definitely going to weigh myself tomorrow since I did this morning I didn't see any weight fluctuation 
just that feeling. So like I said, that's the holistic part of this. You are getting to know what our body likes and dislikes. And my body did not quite like that hard boiled egg yesterday. So um, uh, I'm going to weigh myself Saturday after eating today. Um, like I said, I just got done doing a workout so I can um, keep that momentum going. And if I see any weight fluctuation since I will be eating, even though it's gluten free, it the the bread is made with eggs, egg whites. So that I'm seeing if the hard boiled egg, the the egg whites from today, if that does any weight fluctuations, or if even after eating, because we're not doing a traditional, um, it's not going to be the full blown. It's going to be on a healthier scale. We've got uh, long grain wild rice. Um, we're actually doing a duck instead of turkey. Um, we're doing Brussels sprouts and then the stuffing, the, the gluten-free stuffing, it, not a big amount. My husband has been a very good supporter in this and he's been eating along with me outside of certain gluten-free uh, uh, items. But the, the stuffing, we're going to see how he does. Um, and then... I'm going to weigh myself on, on Saturday because I do have to go to work tomorrow and um, see how everything goes. And I'll check back in with you December 1st, which will be um, after my four weeks, and I'll be reincorporating my next item. So see you then.